happening right now is uh, the city is uh, throwing everybody out right now because it's, it's, we have nowhere we go. And I think it's unfair, you know what I'm saying? Because it, they, they didn't even uh, give a time of where we're going to go. We have no place. We, have only, we only have in the street right here because nobody's going to hire us. You know what I'm saying? And they have two dogs, you know, and then uh, I have a house right here, but, but you know, it's, it's bullshit, you know. At least they give me a place to stay, but no, not even. Why? Why? The question is why in when it's cold? Yeah. You know? Why in this fucking time, you know? Because where are we going to go? We're going to freeze our asses. See, they don't think in that. You know what I'm saying? They don't have no feelings, so I don't know, but they lie. But, you know, but so, this... We're gonna go to City Hall, you know? We're gonna go in the sleeping City Hall if you don't have nowhere to go. Oh, you guys gonna go to City Hall tonight? Well, yeah, why not? Yeah. But that's what they ask, where are we gonna go? Well, we go to City Hall. You know? That's what, you guys, that's what the city is saying as everybody. Because I heard that they're gonna give it um, houses only the people have a, uh, a DMV California. I'm Mexican, it's just, and I don't have a D California, and it's not fair. Yeah. And you know what about the people Mexican? They don't have a D California. You can stay on the street. Yeah. And plus that, when they come and help another people, they didn't even live in the streets. They take our places. You know what I'm saying? They wait the time when the people help. Give you apartment or whatever, you know, the help. Yeah. They show up and then they all, they take it. It's like that, you know, all the time it happening. Just that, the well, Mexicans, I think that's discrimination. Discrimination. Discrimination against Mexicans? Yes. Because why would not, uh, basically, uh, with no ID, make, uh, California ID, you want uh, California. I don't have an ID in California. I have so, a matricula, you know, consular. Yeah. And that is not enough. That's not enough? No. So what do you think the majority of these people are going to go right now? Next street. Oh, the next street? Oh, the city hall. City hall. Because we are like 500. 500? Yes. So do you think when government uh, gives you guys, gives money or gives housing, is that going to help the people? Or is it going to be more like dependent on them for the live for the next day too? This, like, it helps for a minute. It help. Yeah. You know, and then it helps, but it's up to us if we continue, you know? Yeah. Because they give you all the opportunity, and then if you don't continue paying it or whatever, you're going to lose the property. Yeah. You know, and this. The city did his part. They give you a place. You don't take care of it. It's not it's not it for. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you, I had a place, I work three days a week. Yeah. I also work. I clean. I'm janitor. But that is not enough for me getting a ring. You know, right now. But it would be enough for me to pay the help if they give me an apartment. You know, I heard they're a little cheap. Yeah. I, I would pay that because I know. I, I pay, uh, they pay me 360, I can pay it, a, a place like that, but like I said, they don't, they say Mexicans, you know. So it's $360 a, uh, a, a month. week, a month, and they want you to survive off 360 bucks a month? Yeah, that's why I work right now. Yeah. Yeah, they let me off from my other work, that's why I can, I'm in the street. Got you. Yeah, I, I used to live right there, a million in Mono for like a year. So how many of the people do you out here that actually work or do they do they collect AFDC and welfare and social security? Do people out here collect those type of things? Yeah, a lot of people do that. Other people don't. We, we collect up our cans. We go work in the fields. Yeah. Like me, I work in the fields. Like him, he work in the fields. You know? So a lot, of, a lot of people out here are willing to work, but they just can't find no jobs? Yeah, because we uh, have the tools. We look like a gangster. Oh, we uh, used to be in drugs, or you know, black, whatever, or probation. And yeah. They won't give you a, a, a job, or no social security, they won't give you a job. So do you think it'd be better, like if they gave you the tools to better yourself so you could stand on your own and you get a job and and and, continue, yes. and be part of mainstream society, or is it better to just give people welfare, food stamps, and, and, 
they get the get them dependent on government for their livelihood, or is it better to stand on your own and take care of yourself? It's better if you stand on your own and take care of yourself. So do you think you still have that opportunity in America today? Yeah? yeah. I have faith in it. I hope. I hope. The only we need are tools. You know, only we need one step and we can get going. Let but me. Like, like the Red Cross and other organizations, they get a lot of donations from the public. Oh, yeah. Does it actually get to the people at the bottom? Mm -hmm. They come, yeah, yeah. They, they come, come, they keep us some food, clothes, you know, everything, you know. But they're giving you something. Are they helping you get out or are they just giving you stuff to keep you right here? To keep you a uh, survivor here. Yeah. They just keep you to, to survive out here, but they're not helping you get out. No, it's, no. Yeah. Half of the people is, is, uh, is uh, how you say, uh, they, I don't know how to explain it. Other, other people is very uh, easy that way. Yeah. Easy life. Yeah. Put it that way. And a lot of people wouldn't think that. Yeah. A lot of people are here because they want to be here. They used to. Yeah. They used to uh, get help. I like mean, I don't get help at all. Yeah. I haven't. I, I can have no food stuff, nothing. I don't get nothing. I only what I work and then what I uh, people give us. Yeah. Well, I hope the best for you. And always remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. You just have to search for it. No, I don't. Are you, are you in the media? Uh, yeah, I do my own uh, reporting. You don't, have any, you don't have a badge on. You got to get up. I don't have a badge on? Yeah, a media badge? Yeah. This is a, a work site? Yeah. So you, you got to get going, brother, just for your safety. Oh, yeah, it's always bulldozers. for my safety. Yeah, it's for bulldozers. If you had a media badge, then I'd give you a hard hat and have you come in here. But you don't have a media yeah. badge. You don't live here? No, I don't live okay. here, actually. You got to go. Yeah. No, it's understandable. It's just that. And see, that's the thing about it is that, see, in America I'm not, today... I'm, yeah, I'm not arguing with you. No, I'm no, just, I'm I, just saying I, you gotta I, go. Yeah, no, no. So this is what happens when you do stuff for people and not help them to stand on their own. You give them food stamps. You give them welfare. You get them dependent on government. You get them dependent on another man for their livelihood. You don't teach them to stand on their own. You just get them to be dependent. And then when you're, they're done using you for whatever purpose, just like the middle class, they need to be eradicated.